NBA teams in New Orleans have gone under three different names over the decades. The Pelicans, representing the Louisiana State Bird, the Hornets, and the Jazz. Warriors broadcaster Jim Barnett was on the original New Orleans Jazz team and now back in the Big Easy. We took Mr. Barnett to none other than Mr. B's in the French Quarter for some history. Coming here to New Orleans, it was exciting. I always enjoyed going to a new team. I was uh, enjoyed my, you know, stay with the Warriors for those three years. But we came down here and it was uh, a great name, the New Orleans Jazz. It still sticks today, except they're now in Utah. And the team here is called the Pelicans. But um, it was a, a great experience. I was only here for half a year, got traded to New York. and became a New York Knick on uh, trade deadline February 1st, 1975. But it was fun coming to a new place, a new city, um, a vibrant city at that time. And uh, fun playing alongside Pete Maravich. A meal in the Crescent City isn't complete without perhaps some beignets and cafe au lait, all part of the culture enjoyed by many. It's a very unique city. There's no, no city quite like New Orleans in the entire United States. And, of course, it's not only the history. You know, you can go back to Andrew Jackson and John Lafitte, but just the cuisine here. You know, they're known for their brunches on Sunday and the, and the great cuisine and the great waiters that we have. Thank you, Otis. Thank you. Coffee. That's it, Otis. Okay. 40 years himself. See, 40 years himself. 40 no, years, Otis. All right. 